Forensic Golf Doc Blade. Hey folks, do me a favor, hit that subscribe button, hit that bell, get notified when I drop new videos and new content. But I did a little short video, I think it was on Father's Day, and I did it on John Rom at the top, John Ron, Tony Finau, and Mike Austin release. And my personal email it just blew up. You know, but do me a favor, guys, leave those same comments in the in the um the YouTube, okay? That way, you know, people can comment on it. We can start a dialogue with that and everything. Okay, so I'm going to give you one piece of the puzzle today, all right? The guys who followed me, they hit me up. They knew exactly what I was talking about. I wasn't talking about being parallel at the top. I wasn't talking about being short at the top. I wasn't talking about being laid off at the top, closed at the top, or anything like that. What I was talking about is that full 90-degree shoulder turn, shoulder activation, Getting the golf swing to start with the target side shoulder for a right hand player, that's the left shoulder. For a left hand player, that's the right shoulder. Simply working under and deep. Under and deep. And the key is to feel that your target side shoulder is pointing towards your rear foot. All right, that's, that's um, piece number one of the puzzle. Now, the Mike Austin release, I'll talk about that later on this week. But let's talk about the shoulders. The shoulders are directly related to direction. Once you hit a golf ball, I always try to get my clients that don't have that rebound. They get the rebound, but you don't get no feedback from it. So hit your shot, no matter if it's a good or bad shot, I want you to hold that shoulder position until the ball lands. 99% of the time, your shoulders are gonna be right in line with your ball direction. So that's gonna start giving you some immediate, immediate feedback on how important it is for the shoulder girdle and your direction. So that's what I'm talking about when I say John Rahm, Tony Fenel, Tony Fenel at the top. I wasn't talking about open clothes, laid off, over the line or anything like that. I was talking about how these players get these great, great shoulder depth, shoulder turns, and get that shoulder in a great position to create a lot of power. Beautiful ball right there. Solid golf shot. So you're gonna work on them at one at a time. And you know I like to tell people to spend two to three weeks on this one simple ingredient until you start to own it. I tell my clients it's about 400 reps before you start repeating it all the time. And then it's three times that amount before you actually start owning it and trusting it with a scorecard in your hand. But hey folks, do me a favor, hit that, that, um, that like if you like it, the dislike if you like it. Hit that subscribe button and leave a comment below. Let me know how important are your shoulders to your golf swing, the shoulder girdle. I talked about the shoulder girdle for about a whole year, and I'm hoping you guys are starting to realize if you look at my videos and what I talk about, I repeat a lot of things, and a good golf instructor will repeat, will repeat, will repeat. They may change the language and the vernacular, but they're still repeating the core fundamental principles to get you playing better golf. Forensic Golf, enjoy your summer, enjoy your day. Hit that subscribe button, leave a comment below, and take care, folks. Keep grinding, and remember, the journey does require work.